What happened, people? You see what I got here? Two tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon of unrefined organic coconut oil. Be so awesome if it just came out like it's supposed to. That would fucking rock so hard. Come on! Time for this this morning! It's come out like you're supposed to! Okay, now I got fucking coconut oil all over my fingers, which is not, generally speaking, how I like to start my day. But I'm making a little bulletproof coffee, y'all. Is the audio on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bulletproof coffee is black coffee. Doesn't matter what it, which one you use, um, but you gotta use Kerrygold Irish grass-fed butter or Organic Valley grass-fed cultured butter. Either one works fine. You get them in Walmart. It's easy to find. It's a new, new thing. Everybody wants grass-fed butter now. I think I started off worldwide thing. Okay, then you take two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. No sugar. No sweetener. No flavors. No nothing if you want to do your bulletproof coffee correctly. Now some recipes say I'm cheating by putting um, heavy cream in it. I disagree because heavy cream is 100% fat. There's no fucking, uh, there's no, uh, no carbs there, no sugar in it. So you're just giving yourself a little extra fat and it helps it taste better. That's it. It blended. Now it's not particularly hot. So, put it in the trusty microwave for clear time, time, 38 seconds. 38 seconds, that's all it takes. And I poured in my little trusty aluminum super insulating coffee cup. I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna make a little vlog today. You don't see me? Show you what I eat in a day. Um, I do, I'm doing a fat fast right now. I'm just trying to do like cleanse and lose a couple of pounds, get down to 165. And I can do it in about three days, but it's gonna be tough. I'll show you how. First thing I do is, I drink one measured cup of V8 juice. The reason I do that is because when you wake up in the morning, you are at an electrolyte, electrolyte imbalance. So you need to get your sodium and your potassium in you quickly. So, I drink that, I instantly start to feel better. I make my bulletproof coffee, which like I said, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil or MCT oil and then um oh and the heavy whipping cream blend it so that I just have like those two beverages to start today and then and then ooh, my sink's got some weird stuff in it and then I eat it like noon I eat four slices of bacon and I'll show you I'll show you when I get to that part of the day, I will show you how I cook my bacon. I cook it kind of differently than most people. And that is Wright's extra thick smoked bacon. I don't get the honey maple wood and all that shit. I just get the regular smoked bacon. And then for lunch, I will...
slice up an avocado. Doesn't even feel right. And add a little Sherpa pink Himalayan sea salt. Only salt I ever use. That'll be later in the day. So what it boils down to is about for the whole day. What it boils down to is this. 800 calories. 100 grams of fat. 30 grams of protein. And about 10 grams of uh, carbohydrates. And this puts you at a severe, borderline unhealthy calorie deficit. Um, but you will, you can lose 10 pounds in a week if you're really, really, really wanting to. Um, I'm only going to do it for a couple of days. But I just wanted to lay it out for people, show them that this is actually, I'm not bullshitting, this is what I eat in a day when I do this fat fast thing. Um, it's severe, but it works. And if you start to just eat less and don't snack all day and eat a bunch of bullshit, eating eight, between 800 and 1200 calories a day becomes not very difficult. Like, I'll eat that bacon at noon. I'll be satisfied until about 2 or 3. I eat that avocado. I'm done for the night, man. I'm done. I'm good. I'm set. A pound of water to hydrate. Take some potassium pills. Take some magnesium pills. And that's pretty much it. Go to bed and wake up every day 2 pounds lighter. Just like magic. Um, also, what I'm making is... Started a batch yesterday. Whole new batch of sauerkraut. That is five pounds of cabbage, beat to pulverize with a wooden spoon, and it created its own juice. And I added three tablespoons of my pink sea salt, and I got it weighted down with some of the bigger leaves to like seal it in. And then I have this freezer Ziploc bag about half filled with water, and got it squished down in there to keep everything smashed. But it's already starting to smell sour. I'm going to let it sit for a solid week before I start tasting it. My last batch, I fucked up. I had to throw it out. I used too much um, salt, man. I don't know what the fuck I did, but it was too salty to eat. And after about two weeks of being in the fridge, it just started smelling. Ugh. So I fucking tossed it. I'm going to try it over. It's not a perfect science. You're not going to get it right every single time. Um, but once I get my sauerkraut done, then now I'll add that to my... And that doesn't really add any calories, but it does add essential probiotics, um, prebiotics to your digestive system, which helps, you know, helps things move along. Um, but yeah, I'll be back later when I cook the bacon. Peace. Alright folks, I'm back. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show y'all how I make my bacon. This is, um... This is how I make my bacon. I split them in half so they fit in my little saute pan here. And then I wish I had more light so you can see what the fuck I'm actually doing, but whatever. Um, I just lay them in there kind of on top of each other like in a crisscross deal. Um, the reason I do that is, is this. I, I kind of like deep fry my bacon. It's easier this way to get them all cooked evenly than just trying to pan fry them on each side. So what I do is I take some of my already made, already strained bacon grease and fill it up. I'm sorry about the banging. I don't have any other way to get it in the fucking thing. So I put it on like eight and then... I just let the this bacon grease melt. Now, it doesn't make the bacon greasier. It's because I, I take it out and put it on a, a paper towel so it'll uh, drain. So, I know it looks kind of crazy with all that damn bacon grease on there, but I will come... I'm not going to sit here and watch it melt for 25 minutes, but I will come back and show you what it looks like when it starts bubbling. All right? Hey. All right, y'all see now? See how much, see how much, uh, grease there is that it's floating in now? What the fuck I do with my fork? It's one last little piece still needs to melt. 
But it's basically, the bacon is completely fucking submerged. Sorry about the little steam there, steaming up the lens. But, so it's completely covered with bacon grease. So, to be honest, you don't even have to flip the bacon. Just keep it on like, I keep, it's a, I got an electric stove, which I hate. I, I much prefer gas, but um, I keep it at like two or four, and uh, I just let it go. About 15 minutes, I'll have nice, crispy, delicious bacon for breakfast. This is not how I eat all the time. I'm just showing y'all an example of what I eat when I'm doing an extreme it's called uh, Ultra Rapid Weight Loss Protocol. It's a fat fast. Um, you can you can realistically lose 10 pounds in a week if that's what your goal is. But I'm going to just let this keep going and I'll come back when it's actually close to being done. Alright, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, see how it's, I mean, it's done, yo. Look, check it. It's completely cooked on both fucking sides. So now I just plunk them down onto onto paper towel and let it dry. And then I take my leftover bacon grease, which is the grease that I added plus the new grease that I made from making a new batch of bacon, and I pour it through a filter into my little glass jar that contains all of my bacon grease for future cooking things. Um, so yeah, I take my little glass jar, can y'all see it? Right there, you sure can. Take my filter, pour the grease in, hope, hope the thing doesn't blow up in my face because I just took it out the fridge. Uh, actually, I wrap a towel around it so that if it does explode, it doesn't turn into a fucking shrapnel mess and kill me um but yeah so i just let the i just let the bacon dry on the piece of paper towel see it ain't that pretty and then um yeah so that's where i am with that i'll be back later with uh how i make my avocados Alrighty, here's what's next folks avocado i usually take the uh, little sticker off so i don't accidentally fucking eat it um this is my Japanese Damascus steel sushi knife. Won't be using that. Will be using, however, my Cutgo serrated. I find that serrated knives work better to cut through the avocado skin. So just be careful. Don't cut your fucking fingers off. I've done that a couple of times. So it comes out. Then I move over to my 8-inch Japanese chef knife and give it a good whack and a twist and there's your fucking seed discard later um this part you know whatever do what the fuck you want to be honest um all in the morning okay a little plate i just uh i just scoop Avocado deliciousness, avocado, avocado deliciousness, right out of the fucking uh, thing with a spoon. Try to grab that little pit before it gets involved, because there ain't nothing cute about eating that thing. And if it's ripened correctly, it'll come out really, really easily. And uh, then I use my little Japanese sushi knife to chop it up. And real simple, y'all. Um, sometimes I make guacamole, but I'm not feeling it right this second. So, what I'm going to use is... Take life with a grain of salt. This is just my um, pink Himalayan sea salt. I get this brand. I don't know if it matters or not. Sherpa pink Himalayan gourmet salt. And I just take a little pinch... Sprinkle them on. Yeah, buddy. Um, and that's it. I just eat it like that. Uh, I get a fork. I like little forks. Just my thing. Um, but yeah, a little salt. 
Really not that complicated. And that's it. I eat that by 2 o'clock. And then maybe if I'm feeling a little hungry, I'll eat a little more uh, of my Bulletproof coffee at like 4. But I don't like to eat that too late because it is very stimulating. Um, but when I'm doing a fat fast, an idea behind a fat fast is this. You consume 1,000 calories or less. 90% of the calories are from fat and 10% uh, protein and zero sugar, zero carbs. And what that does is it forces your body into ketosis, which is a process where your liver starts to produce ketones to burn for energy. And you start burning off stored fat. Um, it's an extreme way to eat. It's very difficult if you've never done it before. Since I fast occasionally, eating like this is not very hard. It's not recommended you do this more than three days in a row. I've done it longer just because I like to challenge myself with weird, hard shit. Um, but yeah, th that's it. The fucking bulletproof coffee. I start off my morning with a glass of V8 juice. Because you need that sodium and potassium after a full night of not drinking anything. You need to get your electrolytes back in order. Full glass of V8 juice, my bulletproof coffee with one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of grass-fed butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Blended. And then the bacon, I showed you all that earlier, and now an avocado. And that's it. Done for the fucking day. It's about 900 calories, about 100 and something, 20 grams of fat, and even the protein is very low. It's important... To keep your protein relatively low when you're trying to do this particular diet because you won't get into ketosis quickly if you consume too much protein. I know it sounds weird. Uh, I've done a lot of research on it. I've tried it before. I've lost as much as 40 pounds in two months. Um, I gained a bunch of weight from taking Zyprexa and I just wasn't happy with myself. Uh, it works. It's not very easy. Um, obviously it's impossible to do this if you are vegetarian or vegan. You could probably do a variation of Bulletproof Coffee. Um, bacon obviously is out, so you can replace, but as long as you get something that's got some sodium in it. People are so terrified of using too much salt. Salt really gets a bad rap. Um, it's an essential electrolyte. Your organs will fucking literally shut down if you deprive yourself of sodium. So, if you try this, but try a vegan or vegetarian version, um, Jesus, you could probably just eat avocados all day with some salt on them and be fine. Because avocados have a shit ton of potassium. So you get a nice blast of potassium and sodium with one shot. So, yeah, that's it. I know it's super extreme, but... Um, I have a plan in place. I'm only going to do it for a few days. And then uh, I'll be back to just doing my regular ketosis style. But with actually more calories. Alright? That's it, peeps. I'll be back later. Okay, shit. I forgot to share this with y'all. This is my, um... It's hard... To see it. This is my, uh, second attempt at sauerkraut. I got a different jar that has a glass and a rubber seal deal. And this is five pounds of cabbage that I've sliced and pounded the shit out of it with a wooden spoon. And used three tablespoons. The formula is three tablespoons of sea salt or pink salt with five pounds of cabbage. And then you smash it. It creates its own juices. All of the, the water that's in there, the little bubbles and shit. That's water created by, I didn't add any water at all. It just makes its own. And then I have a, a Ziploc bag. Sorry. I was watching a live stream. People are annoying. So I took the big outer leaves <coughs> to create like a little protective cover on the chopped up sauerkraut and then I took a freezer bag filled it about halfway as and that acts as weight and then you push that down and that kind of seal keeps too much air 
But in the morning, after go going overnight, I break the seal just to release the CO2 that gets created while it's fermenting. Um, but this bad boy should be ready to eat in about a week. Oh, I just got a whiff. It smells good as fuck. Oh, yeah. It's working. So, I will have fresh homemade sauerkraut next week to add. I add sauerkraut. I eat two, three, two or three tablespoons a day just to add the uh, probiotics to my intestines. All right. Just wanted to throw that in. Now I'm done. It's like right, right now.